In this video, we will see the two-dimensional representation of three-dimensional figures. Here, let's identify the solids. There are different types of solids. You can see this is called a triangular prism. Triangular prism, why? This is rectangular. It's just based on the shapes. If you look, this is triangle, this is rectangle, this is pentagon. That's why. And prism is something that has, it's it's like a cube, you know, you can see this box, there's, um, you know, the above and the below matches, corresponds. Over here there is one side, there's other side, and a triangle, over here there's pentagonal, all the sides are covered, it's, uh, it's a prism. Whereas a pyramid will have a base, but it doesn't have the same thing on the top as well. It'll be just a point at the top. It is you know, inclined from the from that point, it becomes sides. This is called a pyramid. Now, pyramids base matters. This is a triangular pyramid, rectangular pyramid, and a pentagonal pyramid. That is about the solids. Now, what about find, when they have given you a net, how to find the surface area? A net will be given, yes. It will be in two-dimensional. When you open up the three-dimensional object, it will become a two-dimensional, right? We need to know basic things like the perimeter and the areas of each. What is the area here? The horizon, the vertical height, not the horizontal. Horizontal is the base. It's half times base into the vertical height, not the slanted height. That is the area. This is very important. The perimeter is just add up all the covering sides. Over here, it's a square, it'll be four times sides. If you add up, it'll be perimeter, but the area is very simple, side times side. Any two sides multiply, but all the sides are same, right? So we can just make it power two. So we call it squared. What about rectangle and the circle? Rectangle here, the opposite sides are equal. So this is W, this is L. So it'll be two L plus two W. That's the width. Area is very simple, multiply the two adjacent sides not the opposite sides the corresponding or the adjacent sides are multiplied length times width a circle has to do something with pi isn't it because pi was found out from a circle itself from the circumference especially now here we we have two things first area area is pi and the radius times radius when you square the radius r squared but the circumference, the outer skin, you can say, think of the skin of the circle is given as 2 pi times r, the radius. Or, you know, 2 times r is diameter, so you can do pi and d. So it's pi. And now let's look into the problem. They have asked us to identify the solid. Looking at this, I can see a triangle here. It's a, it's a triangular prism. If over here there was a rectangle or a pentagon, then we should tell it's pentagonal or rectangular prism, depending on the shape. It's very simple here because it's a triangle. If you say merge it upwards, this upwards and this over here and join them up together, you can see it will be a triangular prism here. We have to find the surface area. It's very easy to find. Multiply these both. Here also it's easy to find. This is also easy. But what about this one? What's the area of the triangle? We know the base is 16. But what is the vertical height? It's unknown, right? But we know this is 90 degrees, isn't it? What will be this side? We know the hypotenuse here is given as 10. But what is this side here? That is half of 16, that's 8. So let's use Pythagoras theorem and find this. So I'll co consider it to be x. So what happens is the hypotenuse, the hypotenuse is the biggest, op biggest side opposite to the 90 degrees. 10 squared will be equal to x squared plus 8 squared. You can just put this in the calculator and find it, but I'm just going to do it over here quickly. It's 100 minus 64, the square root that is equal to x. It'll be 36. 36 square root is 6. So x is 6. So now I know this side is the height of the triangle is 6. So now I can easily find out the surface areas. Let me write the first one, second one, third one, fourth and fifth are same. So I'll do 4 into 2. The surface area of first plus second plus third plus fourth. And you can write this again, uh, fifth as well, the same thing. What is the surface area? That is area of the rectangle, not triangle, rectangle here. It's 10 times 20 plus. 
second one is 16 times 20 plus again we have 10 or 20 times 10 plus half base is 16 times height is 6. You just put it in the calculator you will get the answer here. It is 10 times 20 plus 16 times 20 plus again 20 times 10 or 10 times 20 it's the same thing plus 0 0.5 times 16 times 6. Okay, this is not the correct answer. I forgot. I just realized when I was typing, I forgot to write write times two here. This is times two. Why? Because there are two triangles. That's not the correct answer here. You need to multiply it by two. Now this will be the correct answer. It's six eight one six. You can see the height of the triangular uh, triangular section was six. Yes, that was the same answer. And here we go, the final answer. So either you write this times two because the triangle has the same dimensions in both the sides or you can do it times two or add it up again again at the end you should write plus 0 0.5 times 16 times uh plus times six here this is the same thing 0 0.5 times 16 times six six eight hundred and sixteen inch squares that's the answer. So they know about platonic solids. Now these are some shapes you need to remember. These are the names of these platonic solids. Tetrahedron, hexahedron, octahedron, de dodecahedron, icosahedron. It all depends on the number of surfaces. You can see cube. It has six sides, isn't it? See, one is on the top, down is uh, second one, right and left, third and fourth. The one which is facing back and front. Five and six, six sides, six faces. That's the exact term. Here, what about these four equilateral triangles? One, two, there's one behind and down. So it's tetra for tetrahedron, x is for six. Octahedron, you can see there'll be eight equilateral triangles. One, two, three, four, then five, uh, four are on the top, the same thing down. Middle, there is nothing. So this is called octahedron, dodecahedron, icosahedron. In your exam, you just have to select the correct answer so it'll be very easy. Look at this, identify this platonic solid. Count how many equilateral triangles are there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 8, uh, 4, 5 are 20. So it's icosahedron. We just now saw 20 equilateral triangles, make it icosahedron. That is the end of this question. I hope it is clear. If you have any doubts, please consider re-watching the video or posting your doubts in the comments. I hope you all will head on to the next video.